stopped at a fruit market and I've never seen this many fruit that I don't recognize before. I mean, not just plantains and bananas and pineapples, but there's guava and uh, cannonballs, coconuts, and giant peas, rambutan, star fruit. The list goes on and I really don't even know what happened to Mars. So I guess I gotta go taste a bunch of them. This is a rambutan. Never had it. It's kind of like a lychee and it's really sweet and there's a seed inside. So let's taste this one. Mm. Perfect. There's actually a lot of flowers here. This is actually a lemongrass. It smells amazing. There's also turmeric roots here, agar wood, jasmine, and I've been just smelling all the flowers. It's wonderful. Lake Chandra, Malaysia. Just been going for a long swim. Sun is about to set. Doesn't get any better than this. This is pretty far from Los Angeles. Beautiful. <sighs> that water is warm. So warm. So I've just learned some really fascinating information about the Garcinia plant. So behind me is this Garcinia tree and the leaves, they kind of taste very sour. But actually, uh, you can make a, a tea from Garcinia and apparently it has 24 antioxidants, different antioxidants that can be really beneficial for your health. So that's Garcinia. The only problem is there are no Garcinia plantations because they can't really grow in a lot of numbers. So it's an interesting engineering problem. I'm gonna look it up. So Garcinia. There's another uh, very therapeutic plant that's now getting popular in cancer therapy, which is um, soursop. So soursop you can actually grow, but it's interesting in Malaysia here, the price of soursop has gone up from like three rinkets to 28 rinkets. So there's an increasing demand for soursop. So these are two therapeutic plants you might want to Take note of Garcinia and Soursop. Cameron Highlands, a uh, very high point in Malaysia, 1800 meters, and I'm surrounded by a tea plantation. So here we have green tea leaves, and I tried taking one. They don't taste that good actually, but you know, obviously you can get some really high quality white tea, green tea. The views are incredible up here. I'm here in this green tea plantation, bow plantation, best of highlands, and I learned a couple interesting things. So the white tea actually comes from the young leaves on the top, and usually you just take a few. But most of this is made um, cheaply for black tea. So you get bulk leaves and you uh, can ferment them. And actually the caffeine, caffeine comes from the fermentation process. So either you get less or more caffeine depending on the fermentation process. So this bow tea is mostly supplying Malaysian market, but uh, not a lot of this is sold internationally. So you get to try some local product.
So I'm here at the Bow Tea Center and Factory, and I can't show you photos from inside, but what I will tell you is that it's really cool. They have machinery dedicated for the oxidation and fermentation process, and separation and heating, and ultimately collecting all the different types of, of tea leaves, and uh, it's pretty cool. Dumb. In the middle of the rainforest, yeah. hiking, looking for the biggest flower in the world, and we got to cross this stream. What is going on? Huh? I'm not supposed to be doing this stuff, huh? Here we go. How are we getting across this stream? I have no idea. Welcome to Cameron Highland. joke. You watch your feet, watch for insects, leeches. Just saw a bright red colored insect. Don't want to mess with that. Lots of bamboo. I've never been so thankful for PC tubing. It's a good place to put your foot. Alright. We've got a while to go, but we're going to find this flower. It's the biggest one in the world. So now we're going deep into the primary rainforest. At least there's been some development, some, at least some piping and some path made, but now it's gonna get even more tricky. So here we go. So we got to that river. Looks like we got to cross the river. See what's going on back there? All right, let's do this. All I can say is I'm thankful for my feet, for my eyes, for my vision, for my legs. Who to protect me? Your health. What's going on, man? This was the quest for Rafflesia. That's the name of the flower. And it grows in Sumatra, Borneo, Thailand, Malaysia. Rafflesia. Biggest flower in the world. And uh, it takes about a day's hike, Cameron Highlands, to find it. There are a few others. Our guide knows and he's seen them. But like I said, they only bloom for a few days to a week, and they take months to bloom. And this is the mission. So now we go back, get a nice shower, call it a day. At a time like this, after smelling that terrible flower, I just want to Snickers. Thoughts, anybody?